Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I'm glad you're stopping by. I'm here to provide an update on my Wealth Simple account. As you are aware, I am on a mission to grow my account from zero to $10,000 by the end of the year. So I'm here to give you an update as to how my account is progressing. If this is your first time, please go back to my earlier um, videos, which I show my starting point to where I am today. Okay, so thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next few minutes. Welcome back everyone. If this is your first time, my name is Sherma and today I'll be providing an update on my Wealth Simple account. Now I'm on a quest to take this account from zero to $10,000 plus by the end of the year. And I plan on doing so through this account by investing in the stock market, okay? So as you can see right here, I have a portfolio value of $3,891.03. Now I only have my TFSA account active at this time. So I'm just going to go into the tax-free savings account. And as you can see, over the past month, I'm down $141, down 3%. For the past week, it is down $59.25. And for the past day, I am down $20.18. In the past couple of days, um, you, the, uh, the stock market, I should say, has been up and down, up and down. And of course, I've taken that into account. Um, as I said before, I am in this for the long haul, so I'm not worried about any fluctuations that may happen from time to time. It's never always going to be smooth sailing. Now, I have 18 positions in this portfolio at this time. So there's one update I need to give. Now I had a position of 226 stocks in the Supreme Company, ticker FIRE. Uh, they were currently in an uh, arrangement or they were going to be bought out by another company. And I don't think it's been finalized quite yet. The, um, I think it's going to be finalized by June. Now, I decided to sell that position. So for the 226 stocks that I had, I got $88.14, and that transaction took place on April the 9th. So I actually bought my shares for about $0.20 cents each, and they were sold for about $0.39.40 cents each. So I did make a profit and I just took that money and I reinvested it into other stocks. Okay. So as you can see right here, I start off with the absolute software corp. I have 20 shares of Guaquin power and utilities corp. I have 11 shares in Burkan Nutra science corp. I have 20 shares in cloud MD software and services inc i have 100 shares in good natured products inc i have 441 shares green lane renewables inc i have 200 shares in h2o innovations inc i have 18 shares in harvest healthcare leaders income etf unhinged i have 27 shares interrent real estate investment i have 11 shares in Ken Ross Gold Corp, I have 10 shares. Manulife Financial Corp, I have six shares. In Horizon, Horizons Psychedelic Stock Index ETF, I have six shares. Real Can Real Estate Investment, I have 10 shares. TransAlta Renewable Inc, I have 13 shares. In Well Health Technologies, I have 50 shares. In BMO Canadian High Dividend Covered Call ETF, I have 10 shares. In BMO Covered Call Utilities ETF, 
I have 15 shares. So those are my positions so far. Now, on this side, you can see that I have a number of stocks that I am, or companies I should say, that I am taking a look at. I have them on my wet watch list. But I am actually leaning highly towards Power Corp which is a financial institution, a financial company, which also I think is majority owner of Wealth Simple, the platform that we're using today. And, and I should say that I only invest in Canadian companies, right? Wealth Simple provides 0% commission for Canadian stocks the trading, buying and selling of Canadian stocks. Of course, you can purchase US company stocks, but there would be exchange rate fees and commission that you would have to pay, um, purchase. So keep that in mind. So yes, I am looking at Power Corp and also Saverian Corp, which is a company that really focuses on um, providing accessibility solutions for physically challenged individuals and we know our age aged population is increasing here in Canada and so this would be a company that I see in the future that will grow they are a dividend paying stock or, or position and they have a yield of 2.58 percent but it's also a growth stock so I would be combining, looking at combining the both, right? A number, the vast majority of all the positions I hold in this portfolio are dividend paying stocks because that's another way that I intend to gather income from. At some point, I want to be able to retire and have more than one stream of income available to me. So those are the two positions that I'm looking at. So. I also, I'd say in the last two, three months, I also was able to get some dividend stock. So let's have a look at the dividends that I have received so far. So this little, on your side here, you can see all the options you have that if you want to be strategic in what you want to research or look at your activities in your account, you could just choose specifically what you're interested in looking at, okay? So let us have a look. So I have received dividend payments starting from March the 2nd, right? And these are the companies that I've had dividend payments from. So this ZWC, HHL, K, which is uh, the gold stock that I have. These are the BMO stocks that I have and you can see the amount that I've received okay so in the next up to today I should say the 4th of May I have received these amounts also so in my next video I will go over specifically specifically the total amount of dividend payments that I have received along with a tracking spreadsheet that I'm now starting to fill in to keep track of what is taking place in my portfolio. So I will be going over specifically that with you. So I just wanted to have you be aware of that. Okay, so the I've also bought a number of different stocks for the past couple of weeks, okay? So, this is where you would go in to see, and again, I targeted it. I'm going to remove my dividend information here and just target all the buys. And here you can see all the different stocks that I purchased. So I made purchase, purchases of good natured products, Green Lane, and some of my portfolio or my dividend paying stocks. I've also done payments or increased positions on them okay so let's go back out to the portfolio and go back into the individual individual stocks
And here you would see this is a dividend paying stock of 1.83%. I now have 20 shares in this holding and it makes up 3.73% of my entire portfolio. Algonquin makes up 8.66% of my portfolio and they have a dividend yield of 4.18%. The next position is by Burkan Nutriscience Corp position and this is a, a plant-based portfolio or stock I should say. There is no dividend on this position but it is a growth stock so I do have about six or seven positions that are considered to be strictly growth stocks at this point. Uh, Cloud MD, I have a hundred shares and this makes up 14.89% of my portfolio. This is not a dividend paying stock. I have Green Lane Renewables Inc. It makes up 21.38% of my portfolio. It is not a dividend paying stock. This is a renewable stock. Good Natured Product is a consumer-based position. This is not a dividend paying stock and it makes up 14, no, sorry, it makes up 1.91% of my portfolio. No, sorry, 13.38% of my portfolio. That's what it, it makes up, sorry. Sorry about that. Then I have H2O, which makes up 1.19% of my portfolio. My healthcare portfolio or position, it makes up 5.48% of my portfolio and it has a dividend yield of 8.84%. Now we have Interrent, which is a REIT. There's 11 shares and this has a yield of 2.04% and it makes up 4.39% of my portfolio. Next is my Kenross Gold, which is a gold stock. It is a dividend paying stock of 1.75% and it makes up 2.29% of my portfolio. Followed by Manulife Financial Corp. It's a dividend paying stock of 4.18% and it makes up 4.16% of my portfolio. Following the psychedelic stock, I have six positions and it makes up 1.36% of my portfolio and it is not a dividend paying stock. I also have Rio Can Real Estate. It makes up 5.40% of my portfolio. It is a dividend paying stock of 6.07% following my TELUS Corp, which is a telecommunication stock. It is a dividend paying stock, a yield of 4.69% and it makes up 6.66% of my portfolio. Followed by Well Health Technology. It is not a dividend paying stock, but it makes up 9.07% of my portfolio followed by BMO Canadian High Dividend Covered Call ETF. It is a dividend paying stock of 7.43%. It makes up 4.59% of my portfolio, followed by BMO Covered Call Utilities, U Co Covered Call Utilities ETF. It makes up 4.92% of my portfolio and it has a yield of 7.52%. So 
this is my update for today. I will come back to provide an update on the, the spreadsheet that I'm making to keep track of the activities of my portfolio. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time, you're welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, okay? So see you in the next video.